Welcome back to your That's a Cold Beer Effect where your guest, your host, Jeremy Brown, breaks down all of the NFL, NBA news right here. Right here. Let's get right to AB. Right to AB. I'm hearing all these analysts. All Skip, Shannon, uh, Steven, Kellerman, the Speak for Yourself bunch, just accusing Antonio Brown. So if somebody come out and just accuse a football player of rape, he got to sit out games because he just got accused. So she couldn't have no... No, what what where is the word I'm trying to cut? Um, she couldn't have no hate towards this man. She just came out as soon as all this stuff finished happening. Oh, I got raped too. By the way, I got raped, but I ain't, I ain't filed a rape suit. I ain't filed a criminal charge. I just want some money. No criminal charge. I just want some money. I got raped though. Yeah, he he raped me. Right. Right. Something smells fishy. Pussy fishy. And Taylor, you're it. We know you're lying. Straight BS. Straight BS. What T.I. say? That's bullshit. Because it's bullshit. It's straight bullshit. You, as a female... Either you're smarter than men or you're dumb as a fox. As an ox. I meant not a fox. Or you're dumb as an ox. Because you can't get right, sit there for a month or two and then um I think I think I should I should go out there and say he raped me, yeah. especially in these circumstances. These circumstances, when a man has this much money, you get raped in these climates. First, you can't. First thing you do, go to the police. Let's fill out this kit. Let's fill out this rape kit. First thing you're supposed to do might take a week. Don't, don't wait until. It looks suspicious. I know this whole Me Too thing. I'm watching Skip and Shannon right now. Just, just accusing them. They don't know. They don't know what happened. We don't know what happened. Only A, B, and that female know what happened. But it looks like the female is lying. The evidence A, B put out. It looks like the female is lying. And Shannon acting like he didn't see the photo skip acting like he didn't see the photo you know the woman in the middle ain't gonna say nothing they both need to be fired for a whole week for accusing this man of rape on live national tv you can't do that you can't do that you just can't accuse somebody of rape because somebody said they got raped by this man we don't know the full story and how these guys are talking, they're talking as if he did it. Suspend him anyways. So you just accusing this guy? Huh? That's what we're doing, just accusing? I'm glad the people in these comments. I'm glad these people in these comments are are seeing through the BS. Seeing right through the BS. What about Big Ben? Big Ben had a rape accusation. And the woman didn't wait a whole freaking two years. It was in that month. She accused him. They swept it right under the rug. Big Ben just kept right on playing. He apologized for what he did and kept playing. His apology speech was in the tone of, he did it. He said, I'm sorry, for what I did. I know it was wrong. And they just sent them back on the football field. 
but an African descended player. Oh, they all through the media washed away. He did it. He did it. He did it. We know he did it. We know he did it. They need to stop this. Ezekiel Ailey pulled down somebody's um, shirt. They just, they were so ready to call sexual harassment. Even though we see the whole situation, they're partying. That's what people do. They, they do stuff like that. She probably was just surprised that he did it like that. She wasn't mad. But the media, they wanted to have it some type of sexual assault. Sexual assault. Get the freak out of here. Get the freak out of here. You can't do this. All right, in other news, the Browns finally won. They finally beat a team, the Jets. Le'Veon Bell did his thing. But the Jets are in terrible trouble. The Steelers are in big trouble. The Steelers, the Jets, um, the Chargers are in trouble. There are teams out there are that's in big trouble. The Dolphins, they're out of it. We're, we're not going to speak on them. They was in trouble. In the off in the preseason, off season, right? They still haven't won a game. The Patriots, they looking polished. They looking like a Super Bowl team. The Chiefs looking like a a conference a conference team. They play for the conference championship. The Ravens, they looking like a Super Bowl team. The Seahawks, they looking like a Super Bowl team. The Giants, they looking like 8-8. Eight and eight. The Cowboys, looking like a Super Bowl team. Let me talk about these Cowboys. They have came a long way. Jerry Jones is finally paying his players. He only got one more player to pay, and that's Dak Prescott. And Dak Prescott has been doing his thing. Doing his thing the first two games. Now, I will wait. Until week five. See where we at at week five. If Dak Prescott can go four, at least. Now nah, I'll wait until week six. If, yeah, week five. If Dak Prescott can go at least four and one, he's good. Pay him right there. If he lose one game, wait three more weeks. See where he's at in those three weeks. If he can win two of those games, pay him. But if he lose two of those games, you got to wait another three weeks. You know. Ezek got his money. He's looking average, though. First game got 60-something yards. Didn't get the ball that much. But second game ran over 100. Saquon Barkley would be the top rusher this year. But I think, I think the Jets running back, Le'Veon Bell, will show his behind this year. He had a lot of rest. He need at least 1,400. 1,400 plus. He need at least that, you know. But the first week was exciting. The second week was extra exciting. The Jets doesn't have a quarterback. They lost two quarterbacks. Kyle Murray, he's looking pretty pretty darn nice. Even though he still haven't won a football game. But he's looking pretty good. Lamar Jackson, looking like a five-year pro. That already won the Super Bowl. He's looking great. He's looking like the new quarterback of this age. The one that 
Everybody want it. I don't know why coaches. That's the thing about coaches. They're not the smartest guys. Why wouldn't you want a dual quarterback? Yeah, dual quarterback. Why wouldn't you want a dual quarterback? It took these guys a hundred years to even say, oh, this is the new thing. We need dual quarterbacks. You know, Tom Brady, Breeze, they, they go on their way out. Now it's about to be, can you run too? At the Lamar Jackson show, his behind, it's going to be, can you run as well? But they need, they want those, they need, they want a white quarterback so he can be the leader of the team. And they know, you know, white quarterbacks ain't, ain't that fast. They're not. And Lamar Jackson, Kyle Murray, uh, the guy from Tennessee, Cam Newton, he, he's already been doing it. RG3. I still think he has something in the tank and he, he just need to get to a team where he can be a starter again and show what he has. Because when he played for the Redskins, he was great, but he was injured while he was playing and they still threw him out there and let him get his bad coaching. Bad coaching. It's so much bad coaching in the NFL and nobody calls this out. What's up with all the punting? Fourth and one. You can't think about, you can't think or drop a play to get that one yard, to get that inch. They just follow each other. Nobody wants to be different. Then when a, somebody comes in that's different, he automatically succeeds. Cause they haven't seen that before. They're all he's doing. Then everybody chasing him. Now they copying what he's doing. That's all it is. These coaches is just there to yell and look smart and motivate. Atlanta. They look like a wild card team. I want to pay Julio Jones that money, but hey, this, I would have got rid of. Matty Ice, Matt Ryan. The Jaguars aren't looking too good. Here, Jalen Ramsey wants out. Right? Here, he wants out. No, at the Andrew Luck left, the Colts just been more and more out of the spotlight. They starting to look like Tampa Bay. Without that pitiful quarterback of theirs. He got some spotlight, but he is terrible. Jameis Winston is terrible, and Cam couldn't beat Jameis Winston. The guy who will help you beat them. Green Bay and Aaron Rodgers need to get a grip they're going to win a lot of close games I believe so but they're going they're, that's another 8 and 8 team I still see them going 8 and 8 New York Giants replace Eli Manning with the young kid I see them only winning about 5 games 5 games San Francisco is doing their thing Cincinnati still a bubble team The Rams and the Saints played. The Rams knocked it out the park. The Saints couldn't catch a grip. Drew Brees got injured. You know, Gurley, ever since he got paid, he's just been, huh, he's been acting like it. He's been running like he's a paid quarterback. I mean, a paid running back. Because he ain't doing nothing. He ain't hungry. Kansas City... They're boring to me now because it's, it's too easy. It's way too easy for them. When it looks too easy, then, you know, it might be exciting for the first. Like, when Pat Mahomes did what he did, 
it wasn't a splash like I expected. People wasn't just, wow, he's so amazing, this and that, this and that. It was just, oh, Pat Mahomes did this. They'll talk about it once in a full blue. But they won't talk, talk about it. They'll be on something like what Tom Brady, 40-year-old, behind doing. Week three is going to be, let's see who plays week three. Tennessee versus Jacksonville. New York Jets versus New England. Tennessee versus Jacksonville, I got Tennessee. Jacksonville do not have leadership. Nobody's a leader on that team. When I saw Jalen Ramsey getting introduced to the um, offseason or practice, whatever he was getting introduced by um, Ha Ha Davis, I was like, no leadership. There's no leadership in that front office. So I take Tennessee. Because Marcus Mariota, at least he's a little mature. Nick Foles got injured already. He's out. We knew. One of these big-time quarterbacks will get injured in the first couple of weeks. And Nick Foles is out. Drew Brees is out. The Jets quarterbacks with an S are out. And they have to play New England. New England. They better file a sexual assault charge because they're going to be getting touched all over the place. Boom. It's over. Le'Veon Bell is their only hope. And he's going to be getting wrapped up. Wrapped. How you want Le'Veon? Wrapped. Cincinnati play Buffalo. Nobody's going to see that game. I don't even want to speak on it. But who do I got in that game? Huh, who cares? That's who I got. Who cares? Dallas versus Miami. Dak Prescott will throw for over 400 yards. Ezekiel will run for over 100 yards. And the wideouts will have a great game. Because of that. And Zeke will have at least two touchdowns. And that would be a blowout. And then we have Denver versus Green Bay. Now this is an interesting game. It's an interesting game. Denver got a chance to say, our defense is still elite. Our defense is still elite. We can shut down Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, uh, he's just the name now. I don't think he still have what he had in his Super Bowl years and a couple of years after that in the tank anymore. He's just the guy now. You got. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Just because he was in the top in yards, you got you got to win football games. That's the bottom line. You can throw as many yards as you need to. Because on top of those yards you throw, the wideout still get you more yards, yards after the catch. So your yards is still going up. So I really don't look at your yardage as a big thing. You could have been throwing shovel passes all day. I don't look at that as a big thing. I look at wins and losses. And y'all ain't been good for a while. Now, we also have Atlanta Falcons versus the Colts. I have... Ah, I have Atlanta in this one. Solely because Matt Ryan maturity and he's been in the game for way longer than Jacoby. So I I have to have Matt Ryan in this one. Matt Ryan and Julio Jones will lead the Atlanta Falcons to a two and one start. Or if the Indianapolis Colts quarterback can get, you know, some some hype around them, get something under his feet. Who knows? Who knows? 
Let me see. What's what's their quarterback name? Anyways, is it Jacoby Dorsett or something like that? Something. Let me check for a little bit. Yeah, I'm on the internet as well. Let me check. Mm. I don't see him. So uh, who cares? All right. Now they got the Colts. You know. Vegas got the Colts, but I got Atlanta in this one. I think Atlanta will take this one. It's very easy. Don't be surprised if it's easy. Don't be surprised if it's easy. Okay, who we got next? Who we got next? All right. We have. All right, I'm back. I'm back, guys. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. All right. We have Baltimore versus Kansas City. Baltimore versus Kansas City. That is going to be the game of the week. Because Baltimore versus Kansas City. Do you know who's that quarterback? We got the electric, explosive Lamar Jackson who can do it with his legs and his arm now. So he's coming at Kansas City a little different. Even though they almost beat Kansas City last year, they lost by one point. Petty Mahomes is something else. Pat my homeboy is something else. Pat Mahomes is something else. He can fling it. He's like a basketball player. He's just flinging it. A fast break. That's why I call it the fast break offense. Because it's fast. And they go. But Baltimore got a secret. They got Mark Ingram. I think that's going to be the key in that game. And that's why I'm going with the Baltimore Ravens versus the Kansas City Chiefs. I think the Baltimore Ravens got this one. Just because of Mark Ingram. They won't be able to stop Mark Ingram. Oakland versus Minnesota. Oakland desperate need for a win. But the person who's at the coach, he really doesn't give a blank. So I go with Minnesota. Minnesota Vikings. Detroit and Philly. This is going to be a boring. Nah, Wentz. We'll see what Wentz have. This is a Wentz win. They better win. Versus Detroit. Detroit don't have anybody. Their quarterback sucks. He's only back there for this long because I don't know. I don't know what these coaches and head owners be thinking. If he ain't won nothing in like 10 years he was in the league, or how long he was in the league? 9 or 10 years? If he ain't won nothing? Nothing? Yo, you ain't won nothing? You ain't even went nowhere? Get out of here. That's all. Get out of here. Next, this is also going to be a good game because we have Carolina versus Arizona. This is Cam Newton's chance to get back on the map. Rewrite these two wrongs. If he can't beat Kyle Murray, the guy who tied one time, lost one time, and he's a rookie and a midget at that. If he can't beat Kyle Murray, it's something wrong. We might have to reevaluate Cam Newton. We might have to reevaluate everything he's been doing. Because after that Super Bowl performance, he's been on a downhill real fast. Real fast. 
And I don't like it because I like Cam Newton. But his fashion decisions are bomb. I'm not good, not a good bomb, but suicidal. Not a good suicidal, but suicidal. Where are you doing, Cam? You look like you look like Superman trying to disguise himself. That's exactly what you look like. Superman trying to disguise himself. And he always put on some clown clown outfit because he don't fit in. You human, Cam. You can wear a t-shirt and some jeans. <clears throat> you don't have to put on these Lady Miss Duke scarves and these church lady hats. You don't have to do that. You can just be yourself. That's you. My bad. But in this one, ah, it's going to be a tie. It's going to be a tie. I can't pick a winner between them two. They just both suck. Cal Mary got potential. Cam Newton might be on his downfall. New York versus Tampa Bay. New York is 0-2. Tampa Bay is 1-1. I'm taking New York in this one. On the sole fact of the quarterback and Saquon Barkley. Well, mainly Saquon. And the quarterback, as in Tampa Bay quarterback, turning over the ball. He's going to turn it over like four times. He's not done turning over the ball. Jameis Winston is a turnover machine. I don't know what he's reading, but he needs some glasses because I don't think he's seen correctly out there. Because all he know how to do is throw an interception. That's why I'm taking New York. Because Jameis Winston is going to help New York get their first win. Right along with Saquon Barkley. Next up, we have Houston versus LA Chargers. Now, Deshaun Watson, he came out as a bright star, then he got injured. He's going through the RG3 effect. Just He's just on the longer slope. But he's going a little bit through that because he's just keep getting hit. He doesn't have a line to protect him. I don't know if he need to take him out to dinner or you know what the quarterbacks do with the linemen. You need to do something with him because I don't think they like blocking for him. Because you can't get hit the most already. You already got hit the most last year. This year, you starting off with the most this year? It's something wrong. And they got rid of Jadavion Clowney, who was acting a, a donkey went last week with the Seahawks. He's a great fit with the Seahawks. And they got rid of Jadavion Clowney and kept old J.J. Oh, my God. They kept J.J. Watt, the aging J.J. Watt, and not Jadavion. That's why I'm taking the L.A. Chargers this week. Because Houston, Texas can't make a good decision. They're not good decision makers. Sorry. All right, next up we have New Orleans versus the Seahawks. We were just speaking on the Seahawks. That's why I'm taking the Seahawks. They're already 2-0. New Orleans doesn't have Drew Brees. We're going to see what they coach. Is he really smart? Is Sean really smart? Or he just plugging in the system? He got a bunch of plays that a bunch of other coaches got, and he's just plugging in the system. It's gonna, this game will expose Sean. Was it Drew Brees or was it the coach? The Seahawks ain't nothing to play with. And they just got Jadavion Clowney. And they just got Jadavion Clowney. With Russell Wilson in the backfield. With them Sierra dance moves. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. That's why I'm going with the Seahawks this week. Boom. Our next up, Pittsburgh 
versus San Francisco. San Francisco will win this game, and here's why. Garoppolo needs a comeback. If he don't have a great season this season, or if he get injured this season again like he did last season, it won't look too good. He's injury prone, and as being injury prone for Garoppolo means a whole season. Now he's a great, he's a real good quarterback. I'm not gonna say a great quarterback because I haven't seen him on the field too much. But he's a good quarterback. Don't get me wrong. But I'm going with San Francisco simply on Garoppolo. Simple. He will lead this team to a win because Pittsburgh doesn't have their accused rapist quarterback on the team right now. Juju Smith is getting locked up because the, other, the guy on the other side, he can't catch a football. So they don't have to worry about him. He can't catch a football. The running back, he beat cancer. But can you play a little better? You might still got a little cancer in you because you ain't running the ball right. You just hit the hole and fall. How you go from Le'Veon Bell to a... I'm over it. That's why I'm taking San Francisco. Too many problems in Pittsburgh. Too many problems. Now, next up, we got the LA Rams versus Cleveland. I would have to say my pick for this will have to be ah Cleveland. I have to go with Cleveland. They need this. They're on this energy right now. The energy could be either great or terrible. Because as long as they're on this energy, they're going to win a lot of games. But they got to win a lot of games early so the momentum can build even bigger and bigger. That's why they need this game. Because they go one and two, it's going to be, ah, the sorry Cleveland Browns. All the momentum washed out. Especially if Baker Mayfield have another game like he did his first game. And he need to stop running around disrespecting coaches. That's what they should have told him. Stop running around disrespecting coaches. Focus on that playbook. And stop throwing it to the other team. I know I know you want to be a Brett Favre, but don't throw like him. Jeez. Please, don't throw like him. And I'm saying the LA Rams is what um, they'll lose this game because they're already two and zero. Um, Gurley, Gurley needs this game. Gurley needs to get on his feet before they replace him. He's getting all this money and can't get over a hundred yards. Are you serious? And he's that young. He's not even a five-year vet. He's a young guy. Can't get up off his darn feet. Monday Night Football. Chicago versus Washington. I hope they put in Haskins, but I don't think so. They'll have to go 0-5, then they put in Haskins. Because Chicago, I mean, Washington, they're terrible. That's one of the teams that's in trouble, too. You need a quarterback in this football league nowadays. You need a quarterback. You need to throw the ball. You just can't run it down the gut. Running it keeps the ball on the field. Passing it gets you touchdowns and gets you off the field. Defense win championships. Offense keep you in the game. Alright guys. Y'all subscribe and like. That's it for me for this cold beer effect. And you know, I'm out.